So welcome to the Faraday's Law Lab. In this lab exercise, you're going to be looking at Faraday's Law and you're also going to be looking at Transformers. So you'll need to understand Faraday's Law in order to understand this lab exercise. So Faraday's Law is given by the equation that the EMF, which is measured in volts, so it's just the voltage, is equal to minus N, where N is the number of turns in a coil, times the phi B dt where phi b is the magnetic flux. So the magnetic flux can be calculated as the integral of b dA. The negative sign in Faraday's law is just Lenz's law, and it tells us that the induced EMF opposes the change that induces it. So in the lab, you're going to be dropping magnets through a coil of wire, and your coil of wire will be connected to a voltage probe, and so what you will get is a voltage time graph. So voltage versus time, and your graph will look something like this. Now, looking at Faraday's law, we can rearrange it to be that the EMF, which is just the voltage times dt, is equal to minus n d phi b. If we integrate both these sides, then the integral of this side is just the area under your voltage time graph as this is just the voltage. So this is one of the ways that you will be using to calculate the change in flux through your coil of wire. In the second part of the experiment, you're going to be looking at transformers. So with transformers, you'll have one like this, we have a primary coil and a secondary coil. You're going to be relating the voltage through the primary coil and the secondary coil. We can work out what that relationship is using Faraday's law. So in the primary coil, the voltage is given by minus N P times d phi B dt. And in the secondary coil, we've got minus N S d phi B dt. Now, with this transformer, the primary and the secondary coil have the same core. So because they have the same core, they have the same changing magnetic flux going through both of them. So this d phi b dt is a common term. So what we can do is divide this top equation by this lower equation, and we end up with vp over vs is equal to now these terms are common, so they cancel out, the negatives cancel out, and we end up with the number of turns in the primary coil over the number of turns in the secondary coil. The other thing we're interested in with transformers is their efficiency, as we use these to transform power all the time, and we want to lose as little power as possible. So the efficiency of a transformer is equal to the power in the secondary um, coil over the power in the primary coil and power is just given by voltage times current. So this is equal to the voltage in the secondary coil times the current in the secondary coil over the voltage in the primary coil times the current in the, in the primary coil. Okay, let's have a look at the equipment that you'll be using now. So for this experiment, you have a set of magnets. These are all freeze wrapped just to stop them smashing into the desk. The different colors represent different numbers of magnets. You've also got a nut with a piece of string. So this is to allow you to drop it through the tube from different heights. So the tube is here to help you guide the magnet so that it actually goes through the coil. And then you've got a few different coils with different numbers of turns. So you should plug the voltage probe across the coil and then plug it through the logger Pro into your computer. Before you record data, it's really important to check that you are recording as many measurements as you can each second. The peak voltage only occurs for a very, very short time. So if you don't have it recording as frequently as it can, chances are you'll miss the peak voltage. So to do that, go to experiment, go to data collection, and then we put our sampling rate as high as we can. It tells us what that is. And then we'll just want to record for a shorter time. So we'll set that to five seconds. 
So once you've done that, you're ready to start recording. So put your mass at the point you want to drop it from, hit your record button, and then when it's recording, drop your mass. Now in order to analyze this, it helps to auto scale it. So hit auto scale. Once we've auto scaled it, if we want to work out, if we want to find the integral of part of the curve, highlight the part of the curve that you're interested in and then hit the area under the curve button and this tells you the area under that part of the curve. So with the transformer part of the experiment, you can put different coils onto your transformer just like this and then you'll need to use your multimeters to measure the voltage and the current. The thing to be a little bit careful of is that this is AC current and voltage so make sure that you use the AC setting which is depicted with a squiggly line on your multimeter. So you just plug these across the primary and the secondary coil using your lead set.